Hello everybody, in this uh, video I'm going to show you tips uh, how to uh, reduce battery consumption so you can play longer with your Quest 2 or Quest 3 and Tether. Some will be specifically for the Quest 3, some of them will be available for all headsets. First thing we're going to go to the drawer and going to click this, quick settings, and then we're going to get here where, uh, where we can actually control the brightness of the screen. Now if you want to reduce battery consumption, you can reduce the brightness of the screen. You can see it now because again, it's not being recorded, uh, but basically if you reduce it, the screen will get less brighter and it will consume less power. All right, next thing we're gonna go to the settings. Keep in mind, it's up to you to decide which one you want to turn on and off, but all of them will help you out. Uh, after that, we're gonna go to system, system option. And in the first option, in the display, you're going to see the option to turn on. This is for the Quest 3 uh, to turn on or off the 120 Hz uh, refresh rate. Turn it off if you want to, again, to improve uh, battery life and reduce battery, battery power consumption. The next thing we need to do is to make sure that you have the latest software update. For that, we're going to go to software update and make sure to update your headset because this includes other optimization and other important stuff that might improve the headset uh, not just as the performance, solve bugs, but also maybe improve the battery consumption as well. So again, just make sure that you have the latest update. Next, you're going to go to headset tracking and you have two options. Headset tracking 50 Hz and 60 Hz. 50 Hz tracking frequency is a good balance between performance and battery life. It's suitable for most VR games and application. And 60 Hz tracking frequency provides the smoothest and most responsive tracking experience. It's ideal for fast-paced VR games and applications where precise tracking is important. However, it will also use more battery life. So you can choose 50 or just stay with the default auto, up to you, but 50 will consume less power. All right, next thing is uh, for the power management. So automatic wake, when you move your headset, it will wake uh, the headset out. You can actually disable it. Uh, display off, you can make it to the shortest time if you want to make sure the display is off when you're actually not using the headset. The next thing is uh, sleep mode. How much time after the display is turned off, the headset will get into sleep mode. All right, make sure it's not very long. If it's set for very long, well, it will consume, of course, more power while it's actually awake. And there's also a battery saver mode, which uh, once you activate, you can also see also the screen uh, brightness is reduced, but this is basically a mode that helps to save battery power. It will basically lower the overall graphical fidelity. So what you need is turn it on to activate the battery saver. The other thing is we can go to a camera and turn off sync media to uh, the MetaQuest mobile app, so it won't actually work in the background to upload things. Again, we need less processes and things running in the background. This is something that you can turn off unless you really need it. You can always turn it off at some point and see the media if you like. Another thing you can turn off is, uh, it's turned off by default, but it's image stabilization. If you turn it on, this is basically uh, was made uh, when watching videos to kind of stabilize them uh, to, again, it reduces the field of view, but basically it's kind of an extra process that's running in the background. If it's on, you can turn it off. Keep in mind also, if you're recording videos while actually playing, this also consumes power. So if you, again, really don't need to record things, just turn the recording off. Same goes to the recording quality, which you can find at the same page here, like bitrate and frame rate. So if you're already recording, you can reduce, for example, uh, the frame rate and uh, maybe the bitrate as well. The other thing is if you're already working with several windows, for example, uh, if you can just make sure you don't work in, if you multitask, just close the windows that you don't actually use. For example, you can see having one window and I can open another one. So again, if you're having several windows and there are some apps that are open that you don't need, just close the one that you don't need. Another thing you can save battery life is don't use the pass-through if you don't need it. For example, if you're just browsing things uh, in VR, or just in the main menu, just disable the pass-through, right? So it's very easy if you go to the, uh, to the quick settings and just click this uh, space pass-through and it's gonna go from VR to mixed reality if the pass-through and vice versa if you press it. The next thing, disable the Bluetooth or some of the connected devices that you don't actually use. Again, it uses low energy, but not nonetheless, if you have some connected devices that don't use, disable them. Same goes to the Wi-Fi. If you don't use the Wi-Fi, you can just disable it. 
Again, the less thing running in the background that are not needed, you can turn it off. It's up to you to decide whether you need it or not. If it's an online game, of course, you must turn it on. Another thing that if it's not necessary, you can just turn casting uh, uh, as well. And if you're going live, probably already, if you're already doing it, you probably need it. But if you don't really need it, you can turn it off. Another thing is important is, well, keep your quest uh, headset cool. It can cause the battery to drain more quickly, so it's important to keep the quest free cool, not just for three, quest three, quest two, while you are using it. Uh, you can do this by avoiding using it in direct sunlight, for example, and by taking breaks to let it cool down. The other thing is that uh, you can use an external battery pack. If you need more battery life, you can use an external battery pack to charge the quest free. I'm saying Quest 3, but again, because I'm using it, but uh, it's true to other headsets while you're actually using it. Uh, the other thing is that you need to avoid using the Quest while it's charging. This can put an unnecessary strain on the battery and shorter its lifespan. Next thing and very important, don't, well, don't overcharge your headset when you're already charging it. This can again cause heat and eventually can lead to uh, reduced battery performance over time. So basically, again, if you charge it, once you get to 100%, uh, some say even say just do 80%, but again, if you're playing a lot, you're going to charge it fully. Just make sure that if it doesn't stay there, for example, there are some external charges, we can just leave it on through the night. Try not to do it, just charge it until 100% and disconnect it. Next thing we want to go to settings again, and then we're going to go uh, to the developer tab. Uh, in the developer tab, they have, you have the enable custom setting. If it's turned on, you see you have different options. You have hand tracking frequency override. So basically you can reduce the frequency of the hand tracking and therefore improve uh, battery performance when you set it to low. All right, it's an option you can do. It's up to you to decide whether to turn it uh, to low, high, or even touch the setting at all, which is turned off by default. The next thing we're going to do is going to go back to the uh, to the settings and we go to privacy. Now here, basically, there are some things that can run in the background, and basically, the less data transmission you have, the less power is going to uh, uh, it's going to take. And uh, we're going to go to there are different options. For example, like share additional uh, content with Meta, which you turn off by default. Uh, you can turn off and then body tracking as well. Location services off by default, but you can turn it on. Uh, sorry, you can leave it off. It's turned on. You can turn it off. So different features that you share and actually cause data transmission as you're actually using the headset. So there are different options and you can turn them off to reduce data transmission. And again, those things are important if you really want to extend the battery life while playing. And I'm sure many of you do, especially when playing, uh, you know, without being actually connected. Who wants to play with a cable? It's annoying and really interfering with some of the experiences. Some of them you can't even do it because you're going to turn around and well, it doesn't work. So all these things will help you out. And of course it will to some degree. Uh, and decide which one you want to turn on and off and which one you want to enable. And yeah, good luck. If you have any other things that you think can improve the battery life and extend the gameplay time, let us know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching everybody. Give a like if you find this useful. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.